This glacier is the longest glacier in Europe. It's 23 kilometers long. And in the last 40 years, it has receded by 1,300 meters. If that continues, there won't be a glacier here by the end of the century. So how do you stop climate change? What can you do? 40,000 years ago, the human body started to mutate. It created the prefrontal cortex in the brain. And that gave us awareness. Awareness that we were separate from it. Before that, we had to be connected to it. Because it was how we escaped being hunted and how we hunted. And about the same time, the larynx was created. So now we had awareness and we had a way of articulating that awareness. And 10,000 years ago, we started to settle down, apparently in response to a climatic event. We started to cultivate crops and domesticate animals. And in the process, very subtly, we put ourselves above nature. So how do we solve climate change? Well, we can't do it from a state of disconnection. That's what created the problem in the first place. We have to do it from a state of connection. So if you go back that 40,000 years, you go back before that, you could say we were running a matriarchal system in harmony with the universe and now you could say we're running a patriarchal system in separation from the universe or mother nature if you prefer so what is the solution well masters have talked about it for thousands of years the solution is to reconnect to our true nature, to Mother Nature. You've actually experienced that. You actually know what that's like. right now is that Mother Nature is rebalancing. You know, in 2008 we had a financial crisis. And what happened? The central bankers stopped in. They printed money. It's what we call monetary policy. What's Mother Nature doing? She's acting as the banker of last resort, the central banker to balance the ecosystem. You know how that goes? Well, we've seen it over the last few years. COVID. War. Fighting. Killing. Raping. My children are half Ukrainian. My daughter is eight. Children a year older than her, girls, have been raped. Boys of my son's age, he's six, have been forced to watch their mothers be raped. That's the paternalistic system. Is that what we want? Because if it is, then Mother Nature will rebalance the system. She will remove this entire fucking glacier. There will be nothing left for our children and our grandchildren. What is the antidote to war? It's love. It's not that the paternalistic system is bad and the maternalistic system is good. That's not what I'm saying. Both have a role. 
And it's about constantly rebalancing between the two. At the moment, we're overbalanced towards the paternalistic system. And we are inevitably going to go back towards the maternalistic system. How long it takes, how many people suffer, that's in our hands. But I tell you what is emerging. And it's the system that brought you up. It's the love economy. I was recording when it flew. Really? Yeah, and I'm still recording. I'm just gonna take a picture of the two of you, if you don't mind. It's, it's raining a little already. Yeah. It shouldn't, oh, it's coming, yeah, it's also coming. 